we do. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. So what I'm going to do is, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the, I'm going to run, first of all I'm going to run this thing in three modes. One, standard mode where we're just discharging the cap into the coil and running the spark. The second um, mode will be to include the diode in the circuit between the, the low voltage plus and the high voltage plus and see the difference in the spark. And then the third um, aspect is we'll spray a little bit of water into the spark and show you the difference there. So those are the three modes that we'll run the thing in. I can now uh, turn on the relay. And believe it or not, there is a very itty bitty little spark in there. And you can barely see it. Okay? So that's that's the first part and um, so I'm going to disconnect that now all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect uh, the diode from the low voltage plus to the high voltage plus nothing else has changed now I'm going to start uh, the relay again now you can see a very dramatic change in the, um, the way the spark plug sparks and I can do a number of things to it. I can charge the cap to a little higher voltage and it makes it a little bit more robust or I can fire it more often and so on so you can see how the circuit works. We're going to just leave it low like this. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little spray uh, mister and uh, squirt a little bit of water into the gap. And that shows what happens when this spark is, uh, and if we, uh, I'm going to close this door so we get a better idea. It's a fairly robust effect. Um, we're using very, very, very little energy to do this. And as you can see, it just keeps burning the same water over and over. You don't have to squirt, spray this thing all the time. But now, just to show you, if I take, if I take the diode away, the effect goes completely away. Put it back in. There it is. So. Um, it's a fairly dramatic effect, the simplified circuit that Aaron published, and um, that's about all I can say about it. It does exactly what these guys have said, and um, as I published before uh, in, the, in the thread, this is one of the most astonishing uh, effects I've seen in many years. Um, so let's get more people um, replicating this very simple circuit. We've got the uh, complete circuit for the timer, the complete circuit for the rest of the circuit. Um, and um, let's get more people studying this because uh, this, this seems important. So I'll go ahead and turn on the timer right here. I got it on slow, and I'll go ahead and turn it on. And that is the plasma. And I'm going to just turn it up full speed here. And that's an impressive blast, and this, this, this video is not going to do it justice, because this video, if um, you're not going to hear how loud it actually is, 
and you're not going to see how bright it actually is, but it's actually very impressive. Now I have that gap closed up quite a bit, and I'm going to open it up just a little bit so you can see um, uh, see it because uh, when you get a gap open a little bit more, you're getting a more um, time compressed discharge because it has to build up a little more before it discharges across and it's quite a bit more powerful. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, what it looks like with that gap opened up uh, a little bit more. Just with a bigger gap here. Okay, that's actually kind of pounding your head and it'll give you a headache. It's so loud and bright. Um, but anyway, that's with the bigger gap. Here's a demo at Peter Lindemann's shop of the plasma ignition system. Uh, you can see it's a very beautiful ball of uh, pure white light right there at the gap. And of course you can see towards the top, you can see the diode is leaving the positive of the primary on the ignition coil and this is uh, being triggered at about 50 cycles per second and we were using the 555 timer circuit to trigger an SCR to dump the cap directly to the primary of the ignition coil. And now I can see totally how to enhance the effect, uh, pretty much as big as you want. Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is the regular spark, which you're going to see here. And that's pretty typical. And if I spray water on it and everything, it'll you know do the regular um, expected you know bigger blast with the water. Okay, now I'm going to turn it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect one thing which will um, enhance the, the blast maybe, I don't know, double, triple, quadruple, or whatever. Okay, and that's without water. That's simply by a modification on a circuit. And if I take some water and spray it on it, it's actually pretty deafening right here. Um, and the spark is quite a bit bigger than just with the cap. Now watch this. Here's the diode going to the regular capacitor and I'm going to totally disconnect this and it still works okay and it's not even connected to the positive of that and so again that's with a secondary cap assist and again I can reconnect the primary capacitor here to the diode okay and there's your amplified spark Now I'm taking off the assistance, and there it is, back to normal. So anyway, 